Hey guys, what's up? It's Dragon Ball Rock 86 and Sting 622 And we just got back from Still City Con. Um, it was kind of a really s screwed up experience that we had, but we had fun nonetheless. Um, so Rick's gonna go first and show all of what he got. So, there you go, Rick. Um. I have, the mic. I have Mick Foley's autograph. He was really nice. Um, got Ninja Turtles cards. And Brian Danielson DVD. And Kevin Steen DVD. Can you repeat those names again so we can Kevin Steen and Brian Danielson. Is that Yeah. Oh. Okay, so that's all you got, I guess. Um, I got this hat. This awesome uh, Jason Voorhees jersey, which is one size fits most. And it, like, it fits me, but it's tight, and it's got this... Not a big, not a big fan of this at all. But whatever, I like it. It's usually these are like fifty bucks, so I got them for thirty. Um, I also got an Attack on Titan shirt. It was 22 bucks, but it was well worth it. Well, actually, I think it was a little priced, a little overpriced, but still well worth it. Tackle on Titan hat as well, to those of you that don't know what it is. Um, and to those of you that don't know what it is, feel free to look it up on YouTube. Good show. I also got Daniel Prowsey's autograph, which he's an incredibly nice guy, but... He was way overpriced too. He wanted eighty dollars for an autograph and a picture. I mean, still he's worth it because he's dark. He was Darth Vader, but I, I I can't help but think that he was a little overpriced. But whatever. Next autograph I got was Tony Todd, um, Ben from Night of the Living Dead, and Candyman, and uh, he was. Uh, the Fallen on uh, Transformers. Voice of Zoom. Yeah, Voice of Zoom for the Flash series, and he was in a bunch of other things as well. But I know him from being Ben on Night of the Living Dead. So, yeah, got to meet him. He was an incredibly awesome guy, too. Very nice. Um, in fact, I uh, when I went up and met him, he, like, said... Uh, I told him it was truly an honor to meet him, and he was like, no, 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 the honor is, is completely mine. And he's just a really nice guy. Um, I'll post pictures at the end of this video of between me and Rick of uh, everything that, that we snapped at Con. I got quite a bit, I snapped quite a bit of uh, pictures of people in their costumes, so, yeah. Um, I also got a... Ruby's uh, Hellboy, Hellboy uh, mask, forty bucks. Not bad for a very nice mask that's all the way around, uh, and there's no slit in the in the back, so that makes it even better. It's not like my uh, old Freddy mask where it had that, where they both had that slit in the back that shows the back of your head, but makes it easier to put the mask on. Um, I also got some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles trading cards. Uh, I'm the one that bought them, <laughs> but yeah, I I didn't really get into them, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna show you guys on the video. Um, but yeah, they were ten dollars a piece, and you got quite a bit of cards in there, so it was well worth the price. Um, is that all of it? Yeah. Um, I also got a diorama. A uh, 
a guy that I met at Still City was selling uh, diorama pieces with figures in it, and I bought a Freddy Krueger. It was the uh, Todd McFarlane movie Maniacs, Bloody Freddy, which again has the claw busted on it, just like my one that I have at the house. So, yeah, I'm kind of disappointed about that, but still, I have other Freddies that I can use in it, so it's not so bad. And it also came, I also got a ghost face. Altogether, it was 40 bucks for the diorama piece, the uh, Freddy Krueger, and the ghost face, which the ghost face is complete, and he does not look like he suffered any damage or anything, so that's good. Especially since I was cosplaying as both Freddy and ghost, ghost face at this con. Um... I'm not going to show you guys the diorama. I'm going to save that for a later video because the guy that that I bought it from, he was gone for the day later on in the con. I went to go find him to find his personal information for Facebook and stuff so that I could credit him and his buddy for making the diorama because it was absolutely amazing in my opinion. It just, I mean, uh, but he was gone for the day and he had one of his friends or his girlfriend or whatever, uh, doing his table while he, while he was gone for the day and uh, so I gave him my information so I'm hoping that he contacts me soon so that I can make this video and show you guys this beautiful piece of uh, artwork so yeah guys um, please like comment subscribe um, please subscribe to Sting as well he every now and then he makes uh, wrestling videos with his created superstars and they're actually quite good so check his his uh, video out. I'll put a link down in the description box below. Um, yeah. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, oh yeah, wait. Before I go anywhere. The next uh, Steel City Con, there's quite a few people that's going to be there. Only two noticeable ones that I, w I really want to meet. Um, Christopher Lloyd's going to be there, which is a big deal. Um... Michael Rooker is going to be there, which I've been a huge, huge Rooker fan for a long time. Even before he did The Walking Dead, that's not what I know him from. I know him from other things, not just Guardians of the Galaxy and The Walking Dead, but... Yeah. I, I've been a big fan of him for a very long time, so I'm like totally geeked out and psyched about this. I can't wait to go and meet him. I don't care how much he has his prices set at, I'll pay it just to get an autograph and picture with him. But anyways, um, next is Anthony Michael Hall from National Lampoon's Vacation and Weird Science and Dead Zone. Kelly, Kelly Lee Brock from Weird Science, Hard to Kill. Um, the Human in Red. The Human in Red, thank you. Mm -hmm. um, Ian, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's Ian Michael Smith, I'm not 100% on that. So don't shoot the, uh, you know, the guy that's trying to interpret um, he was Wyatt from Weird Science. So it looks like it's going to be a Weird Science reunion. Usually when they get more than one actor from the same thing, it's a reunion. So um, Next up is Doug Bradley, which I had the honor of meeting the last time he was there. And he's a really nice guy. Um, he really cares about his fans. So yeah, Doug Bradley was Hellraiser, for those of you who don't know who it is. Uh, well, he wasn't Hellraiser. He was Pinhead from Hellraiser, but yeah. Next one is... Jayoti, I'm sorry if I say her name wrong, Amage, I'm not sure if I said her name right or not, but she was uh, Ma Petit from American Horror Story Freak Show, um, Christy Swanson, Buffy Summers from Buffy, what, what, from the movie, oh, from, from the movie, not TV, damn, <laughs> I got excited there for a minute, <laughs> anyway, so, um, and the last but not least, uh, Jason London from Mallrats, Seventh Heaven, and Party of Five. More guests to be announced. Yeah, well, they always announce more. But yeah, those are what they have so far for the next con. Um, so, anyways, guys, uh, like I said, please like, comment, subscribe. Please sub subscribe to Sting's YouTube channel, which again will be in the description box. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good weekend and have a good night. Later.